This is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia, from Vietnam. This is our 6 p.m. update, guys. Hopefully, you guys have a great uh, evening in Asia. And hopefully, my friends in North America, uh, you're just waking up. Get that cup of joe to start a fresh, fresh Monday uh, on your drive time to work. Hopefully, you're listening to this and uh, not watching while you're driving because that would be dangerous. And guys, uh, in uh, Europe, hopefully, your, your day is turning out to be a good one. You guys should be in mid-afternoon over there. Woo! So, let's get it, guys. We've got lots to talk about today. You know... Uh, a lot of people have been seeing the Dogecoin price uh, going down a little bit and people have been seeing the Bitcoin price going down a little bit and some people are just losing their minds, they're panicking, they're going crazy. So I don't know what people are thinking, what they're, what they're thinking. Guys, this is very normal, don't panic, this is just a normal correction. And we're going to talk about why it's happening and where we see things are going. Uh, we've got some uh, PayPal uh, news, we've got uh, some tax related news, we've got some Square news. And we just got a lot of things to talk about. We're going to talk about uh, where I see Doge going by the end of the week. So you guys don't don't want to panic. We're also going to talk about some trading trading strategies and all that kind of stuff. So all that juicy juicy stuff. So guys, go back and watch uh, my other videos. Uh, these are some. These, if you guys want to put a smile on your face and you want to laugh, these are some shorts. I just put these shorts up right now and uh, take a look. They're really kind of cool, really kind of funny. But guys, go back and uh, take a look and uh, watch all the videos. Don't forget to do that. And uh, don't forget, none of this is financial advice. It's just, just me expressing my opinion this for entertainment purposes you need to do your own risk management that's so so important that you guys do your own risk management because it's your money it's not my money it's your money so you got to manage your money well and uh, don't listen to every youtuber and every and everybody that tells you what to do either. it's your money ultimately you're responsible for doing your own research so I'm not a licensed financial advisor so I'm not advising you I'm just offering my opinion and that's it so all right, guys, and watch out for nasty scammers in the contents. And, uh, you know, they will pretend to be me, but they're not me. So just just watch out for that. And also, don't forget, we're giving one Ethereum away. So if you want to have a chance to win the Ethereum, you got to do one thing. Subscribe and like. And uh, watch the videos because I have software that's going to choose the uh, choose the winner. And that's going to be based on if you're subscribed, if you've liked, and how much actual watch time that you're doing. So if you're just uh, watching five seconds and liking and then going away you're not going to win sorry guys all right so let's jump into bitcoin price right now and see where we're going so right now bitcoin price is uh, as you can see today i mean it, it, it's only down about four percent four four percent on the this is a binance a binance one day chart so only, we're only down about uh of, you know just under four percent on this chart so that's not too bad you know from a, from a bitcoin perspective uh, that's that's not too bad at, at all. You know, we hit it. We hit a high today of forty-one thousand. We hit a low of thirty-nine thousand nine hundred. So you know, we're coming on back, and right now we're at the forty thousand one hundred sixty-three. So overall, it's not been a it not have been a really bad day. We haven't had a lot of volatility. We haven't think, seen things dump or pump. It's just kind of you know a sideways action. And you know, we have this uh, resistance level at seven four forty thousand seven hundred fifty. So you know the bulls are still in the bulls are still in control. We're still going to have a much much upside to, to come, so I wouldn't worry about that. And you know a lot of people have been talking about this white cop pattern, so we got this white cop pattern. It's still playing out, guys. So guys and gals, guys and gals. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. So let's let's see how the uh, Wednesday shapes up. And you know as I said earlier in my other videos, if you've been watching my videos, one of the reasons why we are seeing uh, you know a little bit of uh, negativity and a little negativity in uh, the Bitcoin price right now is because of the uh, tax related fund. So there's been a lot of articles circling about that on and uh, you know on Coin Telegraph and you know uh, Daily Hall and all of the major mainstream uh, crypto crypto uh, you know uh, newspapers and crypto online uh, blogs and stuff so there's been a lot of that and then also mainstream is picking it up too like yahoo and so guys don't pay much attention to that this uh this uh cycle this fud this uh, tax fud will wash itself out in about 48 hours so hopefully by wednesday u.s time we should be back uh, back in a bullish trend so where do i see the bitcoin price going well i see the bitcoin price you know we're today's uh, the today's we're right here is the second uh, the first for you guys second uh, for me so where do I see Bitcoin price uh, going? I, sh I think we should be back up to 43 to 45,000. 
uh, by the end of the week guys. so I wouldn't worry too much I'm not worried but a lot of people are panicking though don't panic guys absolutely stop panicking stop stop uh, stressing yourselves out stop going crazy you know just stop it stop it stop it so right now you can see that the fear and greed index has moved from greed to neutral so this indicates that there's a really big buying opportunity and you guys need to understand that there's a lot of whales right now who are buying Bitcoin on OTC and when uh, and, and when they buy on OTC that's over the counter uh, it doesn't impact the order books on the decentralized exchanges or the centralized exchanges you know like Binance and then so you're not you're not seeing that and it's not causing the Bitcoin price to uh, move very much but trust me a lot of the on-chain data is saying there's a lot of whales who are buying on OTC so they're they're stocking up we're also seeing a big supply shock happening as well on most of the exchanges so that just goes and shows that there's gonna be one thing we're gonna be going up guys uppity uppity up woohoo so let's uh, let jump into the doji doge and before I do that you can see that the the doge uh, the doge um, this is the social sentiment for doge and you can see the the green here is actually the social sentiment and you can see that the social sentiment is actually picking up so that's really good it means a lot a lot more people are talking about it a lot, there's a lot more retail interest again in Doge so that's really good and that's going to help pump the price so Doge pump it up and uh, we can see right now that Doge right now overall uh, today is just it's just down around about uh, it's up about 0.6 percent so this is pretty good for doge we're still in positive territory but we're not we're not going up we're just kind of going sideways right now and we have this uh uh ascending triangle which is the opposite of a descending trial so we have this kind of trend trend that's going up as long as we can stay above this trend line then you know this this uh, this is actually if we measure from the top of the triangle the top the top here to the base here at the beginning you can see that if we have a breakout anywhere along here you can see the measure move here with a 27. I believe we're going to probably break. We should be breaking out probably around about the 10th or 11th, and that should take us up to around about 28, 28.4 uh, around about here. So we can expect the 28, 28 uh, cents, 0284 coming in uh, for Doge around the uh, middle of uh, August. And I still, I still predict and anticipate that we're going to hit 50 cents by the end of August. So you guys just uh, buckle up for that. I'm pretty sure that's coming in. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, today is just one of those. Let's see how things turn out on Wednesday. So much of this fud is coming. Uh, much of this fud is coming from uh, this tax stuff. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not fud. I mean, it's, we're, we're not. We're, someone's not making up the story. I mean, you know, the tax bill is being discussed. We, it hasn't been passed yet. For this, this is the infrastructure bill, right? And there's a tax component, which is really a KYC component. And they, they need they want to raise 28 billion and they're gonna they're gonna go after people holding crypto to raise uh, tax on that so it's not good news a lot of people like what's going on then we got the tether scare right tether's not doing so good we talked about that and uh, yeah so let's look at uh, let's look at some news so some interesting news let me get my face out of there my face my face my face if you like my face uh, smash a like if you don't like my face also smash a like leave a comment so you got to smash a like smashy smash it like don't forget to subscribe right now don't do it gingerly da, 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 subscribe so uh, we can see that the cash apps quarterly bitcoin uh, reserve triples despite btc impairment loss for square so you know jack dorsey you know he owns uh, the company square and bitcoin uh, services drove 262 billion uh, revenue for the app so which is a gross profit of about 55 million so you know they, they made about 55 million dollars in uh, q2 so that's that's pretty good that's an increase of uh, 210 percent and 223 uh, percent respectively so that's pretty good and uh, you know I wish I had that kind of profits myself so cash app generated a gross profit of about 550 so 50 50 five four six million overall so that's not too bad guys not too shabby uh, but also as you guys know that square does have a whole bunch of Bitcoin on their books and they they reported a impairment impairment cost of around about 45 million and it holds uh, Bitcoin just like Tesla took an impairment cost so that's pretty good we're getting some bullish earnings from square uh, so that's pretty good guys uh, the next uh, next article is uh, betting on tax bill fund five things to watch for in Bitcoin. So you know, you just keep an eye on for Bitcoin next week because 
we could see uh, you know some behavioral patterns but I, I think we're definitely going to be going up uh, so Bitcoin's kind of at the crossroads right now as long as we can stay above uh, our resistance level and also if you look at the dollar the dollar is actually going down so that's good for crypto because when the when the US dollar goes down and it's measured uh, in a basket of uh, currencies so this is US dollar here you can see that it's been going down and that's good because often when the dollar goes down crypto goes up it's just it's the way that it works like that so OTC as you guys has as I have said we can see there's been a blistering rally over the past seven days so we had a really good rally right uh, which is really good but you know we're seeing that a large volume buyers and sellers are over the counter so we're seeing a lot of over counter buyers and the exchange balances on uh, exchanges are falling and they keep falling and uh, that's a, uh, providing a supply shock so this is good news for us because it means that the price is going to go up so guys don't panic about that so yeah there was a yesterday there was like 131 billion worth of bitcoin move yesterday but only one percent from the exchange deposit withdrawals the rest of the rest of it was uh, otc guys so and you know the people that buy on otc are typically institutions and huge huge whales so the whales are accumulating and uh, they're accumulating because something absolutely they they're accumulating because they know that bitcoin's going up it's not going to go down and we've seen that the the bitcoin hash rate is actually coming back up so that's really a good sign that's a good good sign that hash rates coming up guys so that's really good and then one final piece of news is here's some top five cryptos to keep an eye on for next week btc uni link uh, solana uh, and xl xmr so these uh these coins are looking pretty bullish you know so you know plan b is expecting that we could see uh you know above forty seven thousand dollars for bitcoin by the end of august i i think it's going to be more i think it's going to be more like in the fifty thousands so that's a good sign for us uh other coins to watch is um other coins to watch right now is you want to look at uni uni is looking kind of bullish uh you know it's uh the price has been trading between 20 23 and 25 and we could see that it could rally to 30 uh, 30 dollars this week so that's also it's a, so you can buy the dips now it's still a good time to get in uh, same for uh link you know link is uh link has been trading uh around 20 bucks so we could see that we could uh, go well past 20 bucks pretty soon uh, because it broke the 50-day EMA on July 27th, which was 1873, suggesting that the bears were losing their grip. And after minor hesitation near the psychological level 20, the bulls resumed some relief rally on the 20th. So it's, it's, I would take a look at that. Uh, Solana, I love Solana. I'm holding Solana. This is not financial advice. So uh the bulls have pushed solana above the downtrend so solana looks like it's coming back and it's recovering so that's really good so the 20 the, it's pa gone past the 20-day ema it's the 30.49 and so it's looking pretty good so we could see that uh we could see a 37 to 38 dollar solana coming in so that's really good guys so let's just jump into the markets real quick let me uh, just give this a quick refreshing minty minty fresh okay guys so right now uh, we can see that our total market cap uh, is about one uh, one six one trillion so we're up a little bit from where we were in asia today because in asia we're we're down almost 4.68 percent so we've we've uh, come back a little bit about one and a half percent we've come back a little bit so that's really good uh bitcoin is uh and and the uh, BTC dominance as well it's still at 46 so it's coming down a little bit so that's really good because remember it was at you know 48 48 percent before so it's coming down that's what we need we need to see the Bitcoin do dominance coming down if we're going to see the old coins pump bitty pump and right now we're seeing uh, Bitcoin is at thirty nine thousand six hundred twenty six dollars and that's down uh, five percent for the for today and uh, we're down we're still up the almost four percent for the week so we're still in positive territory Ethereum is doing better though it's almost 11, up 11 percent and it's down only uh, a quarter of a percent so that's not so bad and Binance coin is down uh, 2.63 percent and but it's still up four and a, over four and a half percent uh, for the week Cardano is showing negative uh, negative gains on the week it's down one one percent and also for the day it's down uh, three percent so uh, Dogecoin right now is uh, down seven percent for the week and it's up uh, th it's also down 3.26 percent so we're still we're still way above uh, 20 cents I absolutely believe that the 20 cent line is definitely going to hold as you can see here 
you know, we definitely, we definitely gonna, we need to hold this line uh, because if we don't hold that line, we could see ourselves breaking down uh, to 19 cent area. So we don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. So we really need, we really need Bitcoin to make some, to make some moves to see that happen. I definitely think Bitcoin's probably going to make some moves by Wednesday. A little bit of consolidation here, a little bit of uh, jitteriness uh, because of the tax fund. But remember the OTC market, people are buying a ton of Bitcoin in OTC market, but it's not being reflected on the order books in decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges like Binance. So that's why you're also seeing not a lot of movement in the Bitcoin price right now. So hopefully you guys understand that. So the, all of that being said, I just want to say to you guys, God bless all of you. Thank you for being here. And uh, let's take a look at my uh, Twitter right now. Guys, I have 1,312 uh, people in my Twitter, so you guys need to follow. Follow, follow, follow me on Twitter. Do it now because it's pretty pitiful. We've, we, I've almost got 47,000 people, uh, subscribers right now, and I've only got uh, just over 1,300 uh, uh, followers. So that's pretty pitiful, guys. Come on, help the OG out. And uh, once again, guys, don't forget to go to the description of my video. Check out all my links. Remember, none of this is financial advice uh, and guys check out Zen music if you guys are stressed out because uh, the markets neg are negative go to Zen music uh, and uh, you know this, this is kind of meditative music it's background music it's really good my wife put this together so I've got a sh I've got a shilling for the wife and uh, yeah if you've got kids that can't sleep put this in the background and zong they're gonna be out so you're gonna love it I love it so guys support the channel uh, definitely uh, you know become a patreon member buy the channel of coffee all proceeds go to charity do it do it do it and uh, check out my NFT collection. Uh, follow us on Twitter, guys. Become become a channel member. That's really important. You know things are gonna ex absolutely gonna explode and blow up soon. So guys, you got to be part of this because our our our, uh, our super channel members have a free chat, a lot of good advice in there, a lot of good of uh, opinions in there. So so get it get it. And one final thing, guys, check out checky checky my merch. I got tons of merch. I got T-shirts. I got bags. I got hoodies. And I've even got the muggy mug. So pick up the muggy mug. So this is just a quickie update for you guys. Hopefully guys are having a great day so have a great morning have a great drive to work guys in the u.s north america people in uh, europe hopefully your day is turning out pretty good and my friends in asia uh, have a great dinner see you guys later spread a little love douche pump it up douche spreading some love so get it out there guys i love you guys see you woohoo let's get it